Oh boy. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana Santana and today I am bringing you on day two of New York Fashion Week 2023. Showcasing outfits and collections and designs going for summer and spring 2024. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you know every time that I post a new video and hit that like or comment down below if you want to add anything or if I'm missing any of the designers that you've actually witnessed during the past few days it is getting a little bit more complicated to since I'm not there as you may know I am not there and I'm gathering, I'm gathering everything from all the subscriptions of magazines and runway and fashion magazine and Vogue and everything as much as I can but at the moment it's getting a little difficult of me finding the same day or the day before runways and the pictures and what actually happened so this is gonna be the last one that I am gonna do please don't be alarmed I'm still posting but this will be the last one that I'm gonna do consecutively so from one day to the other day so this is going to be for September 9th 2023 and we've got a long list so we might as well just get to it I'm gonna be showing you a little bit more less of my opinion and more of what actually we've seen so you know what I'm talking about I already know my top three and you may know by the way that I will actually speak about them <laughs> the only one on my list that actually could not find the runway was Kim Chui oh my gosh I couldn't find it anywhere i've looked and i've looked and everything that i see is just the fall collection 2023 which is exquisite that's what i wanted it to showcase it on this video but unfortunately i couldn't find anything i may add it on the next one coming up and i'm gonna be uploading those in the next week so we are starting with jonathan cohen jonathan cohen ready to wear spring 2023 how everybody categorize it gold We've got black, we've got sequence over sequence, and we are seeing a lot of different textures. We've seen a lot of floral fitted, florid filled ethos. And this means that it had either the background or the runway itself. And a few pieces of the collection actually brought up a lot of, a lot of floral for life on the collection. We see it from head to toe in 3D environments, some of them. So that first one is Jonathan Cohen and I got all of the links. I'm gonna make a disclaimer. Disclaimer. I do not own any of the pictures on this video. All of the pictures are going to be linked down below with the photographs, with the photographers, and the whole shoot is going to be down below. Every link is going to be linked to the correct pictures that you're seeing right here. Nothing else is from any other links that is not gonna be down here. So all the credit to the links are gonna be down below in the description box. Back to it. Now we got Theory. Theory by Officer Jeffrey Kalansky. It's a story of uniform through fabric. Every uniform, every workforce or every ready to wear every day office attire but couture polish straightforward clothes <laughs> that's how the new york times actually put it so we've got everything is in a union everything was very straightforward everything was very polished everything in colors that you were actually not seen a lot of prints you've seen a lot of prints in the mid show and at the end where they closed with well, where he closed with silver tones but in the mid of the runway they actually bring out a few patterns a few fabrics with texture or any type of print that's what I'm going to say. any type of print at the moment but in the beginning of it everything was cream colors whites like dark blues, blue navies, blacks. Those were the colors in the palette of the mood, like the mood palette of the full runway. On, remember that I told you that I got top three? Well, ben, Benza is my top three, is in my top three. Benza by Sutiliana Benza. Now, www.com, she says that she is happy to be back on state side for spring meaning that she's here for the long run and she's showing us what she's gonna be bringing 
summer and spring 2024 ready to wear attire and i'm gonna tell you something it's so clean it's so chic clean silhouette is a big factor on this one from micro tops to an oversized blazer with just a micro top and the whites that she's bringing are just not pearl whites are just more icy whites and a lot of deep other colors that she contributed on the designs and we've heard that Peter Dew actually was a creative collector of the collection itself and a I feel like not <laughs> so we've got oversized blazers and tailored pants but silk tailored pants and gowns to everyday wear gowns but yet again you can style it up every single one of them and I'm very amazed about her collection I was not very familiar with her before but now I'm definitely am <laughs> and it looked amazing it looks honestly fabulous and as we know and now we've seen in the last video that I have I'm gonna link it down below I'm gonna try to link it around here too but in the last video that we've seen is that gold is the color to actually accessorize every single outfit from now on a clean collection is very nice collection and honestly Bevza is on my top three I'm gonna ask you what are your top three at the end of this video because Provenza Shadows I'm gonna leave the name over here I'm so sorry if I'm not mentioning this correctly or I'm not saying this correctly but the balance is key for the duo the they're trying to create and they've been crafting and making sure that they do got their actual logo and at the moment they just written down on a piece of paper and it's been auctioned for like ten thousand dollars and it's a lot for you and for me to think about like okay it's just a logo but no it's They've been shown that the 20, 20 plus years that they've been in the industry, they've been trying and trying and now they finally get to their balance and voice now in their brand. So it's showing a lot of mesh tees on the runway. They're showing a lot of mesh. So mesh over extra large pants or cargo pants or leather pants or skirts or mesh skirts and then a top or everything mesh in between they can cover it up with the oversized blazer through dresses or anything that it will be layering up it's what they are bringing now, moving on we've got Sammy Miro vintage by Sammy Miro now Sammy Miro have actually dressed from Selena Gomez, he have dressed from Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner and Miss Cardi B and she have made a lot of debuts in a lot of influencer side with other brands like Louis Vuitton, like Coach, Burberry, Dior, um, My Thursa and more like a lot of more just doing ads here and there but now she's using it to embrace zero waste that's the title of a runway zero waste now we've got denim on denim a lot of denim on denim but like dark denim on denim we've seen a lot of leather turn up leather trying to represent the zero waste of the fashion <laughs> and on her runway and it was very unique she actually participated on it and it was it was a different style from cargo pants to very micro tops with just reusable of the fabrics and it looked reusable of the fabrics like she got leftover fabrics and actually built an outfit with it creating zero waste it's literally titled that and it looked just like that we've got a lot of dark colors moving on we've got Tibay Taibay Tibay Taibay now we've seen matching sets oversized blazers all over the runway now we've seen a lot of tailored pants with a lot of oversized blazers we've got big bags and i mean like big almost bigger tote bags and leather bags as well a lot of the leathers mixed with sheer pieces just a few not that very much but we've got from tailor pants to almost capri pants but tailored and then shorter pants with oversized blazers or some of the blazers actually are just very well fitted blazers but everything looked like a uniform kind of, of what we've seen from now on is that a lot of just bun ups tailor pants and the uniform itself and it keeps it simple with the colors that's what i'm looking and what i'm seeing right now now moving on We've got, Pal we've got Palomo Spain. Now, Mr. Palomo Spain actually brought some sexual desire and romance. 
we've got floral dreamy backgrounds we've got a lot of corsets and what it makes it more unique than this clothing like than his collection itself it was the more male models instead of more female models now it was very unisex collection very unisex collection and everybody can wear everything from the collection and I mean literally everything from roses on the corsets from very deep black corsets to more pinky mesh corsets from white tights with floral patterns on them to that almost knee-high boots and it combined the leather in the boots and a lot of the shoes accessories and then the clothing was more mesh silks and cottons mixed here and there and it created this illusion and a lot of the hairstyling combined with the clothing it was just it was not just like a slick bun like the whole outfit created the couture and the allure of the sexual desire and romance feathers here there floral arrangements everywhere and honestly it looked like a very very nice runway <laughs> moving on from palomo spain to alice plus olivia alice plus olivia is in my top three they brought in 1966 plaza balls inspired outfits and oh la la 60s inspired colors meaning bright reds meaning bright yellows bright blues greenery flowers 3d effects and i am amazed with the brand honestly um she's in my top three for sure they are in my top three for sure the spring and summer colors that we've always known for that are the reds the yellows the oranges the pinks the greens and everything that you see out in spring and everything that you see out in summer they actually created all of the fabrics and the outfits from that view but actually what they did it actually got inspired so the collection created was created with inspired looks from glamorous 1966 plaza hotel set black and white ball from trauman's capote's swans it was inspired in 1966 plaza hotel and that you can see in every single one of their outfits from the belts to the accessories to the heels to the long extended pants to the silks more sophisticated and the black and white with the dots oh my gosh it's, it's not quiet at all but still i love every single one of these outfits in this runway and I adore every single one of them. I honestly do like a lot of the reds because of the deep bright red and it's represented a lot of spring and a lot of summer. That's how I like it. So top three with Miss for Miss Alice plus Olivia. Now we've got Anna Sui is bringing reality and fantasy all in once. I see it a little bit more under the sea, under the water because it's bringing a lot, a lot of I don't want to say mermaid looks because they didn't look like that they look more like an illusion and a lot of fantasy going around because from the headbands to the chunky shoes and the accessories and the oversized jackets or over the shoulder jackets with the purple and the green and the pink and everything looked very under the sea everything looked very fantastic and the makeup and everything was all brought together to show and for you to feel that you know that illusion and that fantasy and it actually was titled exporting ocean mysteries so you can see it on the mesh on the pinks on the purples and the background of the full runway was just almost under the sea and it was actually really unique way to represent your clothing and represent your line because yes it makes sense that exploring under like oceans mysteries will bring a lot of blues and a lot of pinks and a lot of purples and greens you know combined with those colors creating that illusion of under the sea we've got Katie K-A Kate. It's modern minimalism. Modern minimalism. And is it my top three? Nah, maybe my number one. Because I adore how he actually brought it up to the runway. I see that she did keep a lot of the 
like every single thing was very attention to detail every single thing was a lot of attention to detail and it showed from head to toe that everything was where it's supposed to be we've got a lot of golden yes this is her little design of the hands in the golden belt is what that like, gets me a little bit but we've seen a lot of flair we've seen a lot of textures a lot of textures and the different silhouettes that the outfit can get from being just in the hanger or just blah to actually create that texture and that silhouette that you're like i look amazing and now we've got a lot of whites a lot of deep colors but also just a bright up of red we've seen a lot of the red i adore these outfits oh she showed this top with the balloon sleeves and it looks so over the top and chic and so glamorous that you feel the same way just by looking at the collection so that makes it on my top three and the couture and everything was just exquisite and big handbags as well again we've seen a lot of big ones or a lot of just over the shoulder bags now we've seen a lot of big bags a lot of oversized bags and silhouettes are giving collection is giving the colors are there everything is on point and it looked so so magnificent i really liked everything on this collection and it's in my top three if not my top number one got a cow's latte hope i'm saying that correctly so sorry if i'm not but it's by mike klaus and zoe latte now we've got sensual and sophisticated we are bringing a lot of leather a lot of leather to the runway we brought a lot of browns combined with beige or bone color a little bit more not on the white and not on the black it's everything in between now we do see a lot of mesh a lot of sheer here and there and we've got gowns ready to wear 24 7 gowns that you can just throw on put a pair of sandals on and keep on going with your day because you're gonna look fabulous the leather making a good combo with the mesh and then the cotton underneath silks here and there silks and leather and mesh are the key three fabrics or three textures of fabrics for spring summer 2023 just don't forget that or if you have them in your closet deep deep down start taking them down because they are going to have a better better comeback every single time now we're gonna keep continuing my next one was gonna be Kim Chu, but unfortunately I'm waiting on updates of the wrong way few more to come now we've got the final designer in my list at the moment it's Dion Lee now we've got party attire with heavy working attire We've seen short bodysuits, short corsets, short blazers, short shorts, and everything is also a working attire. It's almost like you have your nine to five and you have a party afterwards. Dion Lee is the designer for you to go. And he showed a lot of ready to wear like uh, attires as well, but different textures, more flattened lines, I believe that I believe not more fun lines that I see and a lot of more deep colors as well just a few here and there that we see a few 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 pant suits all combined looking exactly the same and then you've got the other ones that are actually just a mixture of a bodysuit tailor pants oversized blazer overall so that's Dion Lee and that's the last designer that I have for you and I'm gonna remind you that the videos that are com that are coming are going to be in the midweek and this is the last one for September 9th runways in and out of the runways please let me know down in the comments below if you want me to add any of the other designers that actually did a pop-up show or did an event itself but not an actual runway and let me know if you want me to speak about them I know I'm missing two that you are definitely thinking about which is coach and kate spades but that i'm gonna do on the next ones because this one are going to be on the schedule that i already had from vogue magazine that they did the schedules of artists and designers to watch now i'm gonna keep and continuing uploading shorts here and there to give you updates and to actually talk about one specific designer or two specific designers because i'm trying to do the eight ones for a shorter video so you can just enjoy and keep on going <laughs> so I'm already over my time. I know there was a lot of designers, but thank you so so much for watching Remember to hit that 
bell icon and that subscribe button it will let you know every time I post a new video and they're gonna keep coming on the week to come just remember to like comment share subscribe do everything you need to do down there links are down below for every single of the pictures and thank you so much for watching have a good one I'll see you guys on the next one bye